like the video in the first five seconds or I'm going to hack your Fortnite account and you'll never get it back ever again. Try me. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Spooly here back for another video. Oh my god. Hey, while we're waiting for this battle puzzle to load up, I am using my, you know, my career code to make a custom match, just to explain this loop route. The ultimate guide to Rave Cave. Best. Oh, it's just. You don't want to miss out. Um, while we're heading there, just make sure you guys are using creator code SPULIA in your item shop so I can get hit with a turkey. If we get 100 people to use my code. I'll get hit with a turkey a hundred times in the face. Because Thanksgiving's coming up. Don't want to see me get whack a mold by a turkey. So. Anyway. So, traditionally... <clears throat> Alright, so usually this is where I... This is how I land, okay? Now, if there's somebody, like, landing on that chest, some idiots do that. I don't know why they do that, but they do. They'll land right on this chest... And, um, like right here. And then they'll, you know, whatever. And sometimes I'll land on top of here and grab this gun real quick. And then, boom, boom, boom. You know? Before they can open the chest. You know, whatever. It depends. But majority of the time, I land. And then when I'm landing, I go right onto the I land on the zip line. And then, I drop down. Now I have all this. Okay? Got two chests. Um, if you're playing for mass, you got plenty of wood pallets in here or whatever. Let's do this real quick. Come on, Epic. Give us a circle. Give us a circle. Please give us a circle. Please give us a circle. Alright, we got a circle. Good enough, so. They're being kind of generous. Alright. I wanted circle so I can have more time here, okay? So, we already have a key. Usually, we go right to the vault. But we're not going to go to the vault. We're going to take the loot route first. Acting like we didn't get a key yet. Okay, you want to pick up your whatever guns you want to use, your loot pool, yada, yada, yada. And then what we do is we do this and whatnot. You know, so, you know, a lot of people don't understand that there's actually loot in here. And sometimes there's some really good weapons in here. I don't know why they're always like pretty good most of the time. I guess that's just coincidence. All right, then you just go like this, boom. Okay, we want an SMG, bada bing, bada boom, we have a fishing hole right here, you can get the fishing hole. I wrap around here, pick up the ground loot if there's anything good, you know. You can farm all this brick and whatnot. Um, more, here we got, we got some more, um, whatchamacallit. Another chest right here. Doesn't matter. Alright, boom. Boom. Just pay attention to this loot route. You do the same loot route every time. It'll be good. Okay. There's a chest that spawns right there. You know, more pallets throughout this whole place, right? There's a chest that spawns up there. There's a chest that spawns right here. I mean, these are... I wish they were all were up so I could show you them all, but they're not. Then I come over here. I go down here. Pick up, there's a chest that can spawn there. Come around here, you got another chest right here. We're still gonna pretend like we didn't get a key yet. Come over here, some loot. Yep, right there. Um, so, that pretty much covers the, this part. I mean, you can theoretically, like, camp here if you want or whatever but and what I mean by camping there is like usually you're running to somebody by now and just hide and wait for them to come over but I don't do that alright so then we got that we got a little fish we stack up on floppers or whatever got another thing and then I would go into the vault if I had the key yet but we're gonna pretend we still don't have the key yet oh no where's our keys Oh no, we don't have any keys. So, come around here. There's a chest that spawns there. There's a chest that spawns here. Oh, we got another key. 
Alright, so we're farming up all this mat. Right there. Boom. Come up here, you get a lot of metal. I mean, you'll get max metal right away in uh, Arena. 100%. Um, Wait, over here you go. Yeah. Oops. Alright. There we go. Let's farm up all this metal. I mean, if you look at our, I mean, our brick and metal, look, you, you see, like, worm is max metal already. More than halfway there. Um. It, it didn't even take us that long to do it. Like, I would already be max on all materials if I was just farming and not looting. Let's face it. Alright, there's a chest that spawns up there. There's a chest that spawns down here, too. And I farm this, too. All this is great, like... Now we come up here, I run over here. I literally know where every chest spawn is, so this is right here. This is a guaranteed... I'm gonna be salty if it ran, if for some reason it's not here. But, um... It's a guaranteed, um... Safe right here, if you like, if you need some gold. Boom. Oh, there we go. 100% of the spawn rate. So you're gonna get this. We're gonna actually get it because uh, we wanna see how much gold we can just get. Alright, forget that. Boom. You can hire the, the mouse schools, I usually do, because they can revive now. Anyways, um, we're gonna go up like that. Boom. Sometimes there's another uh, safe around here. But that's not 100% spawn rate like the other one. Um, so anyway, moving on. Um, sometimes, so there's another chest spawn right here where you, you dig it up. I don't know how it's digging, digging up in cement but and not in dirt, but come on, Epic. You gotta be more... Uh, you gotta be more realistic than that. Alright, so, another chest spawn. Chest spawn right there. Alright, so chest spawn on that little balloon, or that little floaty. There's another chest spawn right here, too. Now you're making your way over here. You know, you can get your ammo crates or whatever. There's a chest spawn in here. Like right there. There's not chest spawn right over here. There's chest spawn right here. Chest spawns. Sometimes if there's there's like three chest spawns like right here. If that's if the uh the NPCs are dancing. Sometimes they're there. And you got another one right here. We're gonna be in the store. There's another one over here that a lot of people don't even know about this thing. I do though, because I know everything about Raid Cave, man. I will land here 90% of the time. The only other 10% of the time is, uh, what is this? A dial up prop, huh? Interesting. So you can, like, spawn yourself a car now. Alright, so we're just gonna pop this medi real quick. Uh, we'll be right back with you. So right there, there's a chest that spawns here. There's a chest that spawns right here. Like underneath. Chest that spawns up here. Alright, so that pretty much 
takes away the route, like it, it finishes the route of the rave cave. However, I know there's more of a rave cave to look at, but I traditionally don't do that. So I'll go into the vault. And the best thing about the vault is, like, unlike most of them, like you can't break the ground, it's so much easier. Look at that. Boom. Look how fast I just did that. Okay, you got all that. And then what you'll do is you can go out here and if you're like me, you put your tree right here. So now I have my tree after that. And I'll be stacked on loot. Now, obviously, I didn't pick up any of the gold weapons, and I didn't really look for loot. I could care less, because we're in our own game, but... Um, I didn't get to show you what kind of loot I walked out with. But that's okay, because at the end of the day, look at our mats. And that wasn't as long as, as you would think. Like, like, I didn't completely... Like, I didn't full-on, um... Like, I didn't full-on just sit there and, like, and, like, do what I would have done in the game. I showed you, like, a bunch of chest locations. I mean, there's more in here. I mean, you know, I might as well show you the rest of them, right? one on top of this plane right here I mean see these aren't in the loot route that I take but like I said at the end of the day you know I guess it's okay to show the knowledge of everything you know so we need this we're gonna need this we need this another Gold weapon. You can come underneath it. Oops. Chest spawns right there. Chest spawns underneath here. Guess the chests just do not want to be open today, huh? There's chest of spawns. Alright, so now we gotta go up there. Alright, as you know, there's a chest of swans there. Uh, I mean, and for rotation-wise, one more thing I want to I, I want to um, explain real quick. Also, if you're feeling dangerous and risky, there's more metal things right here that you can cap off your metal with. Um, on the spikes, but that pretty much I that does cover rave cave actually storm sickness. Oh, come on, man. I'm doing a video God this game sucks Well, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video boom And um, yeah That's your ultimate guide to rave cave. Um, it's literally the best for mats ammo loot you got plenty of um, key things where you can pick whatever you got, like this little locks. Like, there's like, I think, I believe there's three or four of them that they spawn in. And then you got, of course, the little vault there. Um, yeah, you are, all, you, you'll be all set for the rest of the, for the rest of the game. Um, and it doesn't take that long to farm it. It took long because I was trying to show you, showcase every single thing in Rave Cave, but nonetheless, I just hope you, I hope you guys benefited from this video and enjoyed it. And um, yeah, if you're in the game and you land Rave Cave, guess guess what? If I'm in your game, I'll be there. So uh, there you go. I hope you guys have a great one, and uh, make sure you guys are using code 
spoil it in your item shop if you want me to get hit with a turkey a hundred times in the face. Because Thanksgiving's coming up and we want to see that. Alright guys, you take care. Bye! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, bye! Bye! Bye!